I do remember having lunch with a friend once and someone coming up to us and the woman saying, oh, I love your work so much and I just think it's so awesome that you go out of the house looking like that. <laughs> because I was like, my hair was like, like a disaster. I had my workout clothes on. I am who I am. Like what's, you know, what's gonna, you know, whatever. I rarely wear makeup in my real life, and a lot of the roles that I have done recently where I wear little to no makeup, so oddly, I wore more makeup when I was in my 20s. I feel like I'm wearing less and less the older I get. There's been some Zooms that I've had to, for sure, and my friends and I laugh that there's like, I guess embedded in the Zooms, there's like a look better option, which always made us laugh. I'm like, why can't that just be the go-to setting on Zoom? Like that feels really unfair. But there has been definitely some times that I've put on lipstick and feels really fun. And I love a tinted moisturizer <laughs> every once in a while. But yeah, like, I mean, God, I love, you know, I love clothes, I love fashion. I love putting on makeup for like special events. Like, of, of course, of course. But on the day today, I'm just not that bird. Like I, I, we just, I don't have the time for it in my day. My daughter wishes I did. I have a daughter who loves it when I have lipstick on. I think that she wishes I had makeup on all the time. She wishes she had a glamorous, a more glamorous mother. <laughs> She's always like, can you brush your hair today? And I'm like, I know. And she always wishes I had like a color on my nails. <laughs> it skipped a generation. My mother was, my mother is very glamorous. I feel like my daughter is too. I feel like I like modeling to her that makeup is not necessary, that she's beautiful the way that she is, and that makeup can just be something really fun and for special occasions. In high school, for sure, I had like a goth period and there was a, just a lot of makeup. And I also like was like kind of into the B-52s, so there was a, a lot of like, I tried to do the wing eyeliner. I, you know, I had like the, the kind of like lipstick that kind of made your, it was like so pale that it made your lips like invisible. So, and I had like, it was very matte looking. So it was like a, the foundation that was like so thick and then so much powder on top. Um, that you needed like a sandblaster to take to take it off. And then in college, like I had the worst acne for so long. Like, I mean, I had it until my 40s. So it's like such hormonal cystic acne, like all over my face. So I think once that started clearing up, I felt definitely felt more comfortable not wearing makeup. But there was a de there was definitely a major concealer chapter in my life, and I still, I mean, of course, still use it when I'm on zooms, except for this one. <laughs> But like lights, <laughs> thank God. <music> Nutrition, that didn't really start happening until, honestly, until I became like a mom and I felt the responsibility of my kids. And you know, same thing with every, everything. Hydra <laughs> hydration, working out has become like, a really important part of my life, like for, for mentally as well, all of that. I use like a sunscreen, I stay out of the sun, I have like a big skincare routine every morning, like I wash my face, I have a toner, I have like a bunch of serums, I love a face oil. The older I get, like I, I think that's where I've been definitely like, in, you know, investing is in skincare.